everybody, Sarah here with American Crew, and today I'm going to be doing a haircut for you. So the haircut that I have chosen to do on my lovely model, Sam here, is going to end up leaving a little bit of length on the sides. It will have enough length that you'll be able to push and move the hair with a little bit extra length on top. So I have chosen to do this haircut because as I've been sitting at home due to social distancing, I have been YouTubing men's haircut videos, watching Instagram videos, just, you know, watching all these haircut videos just to get inspiration and motivation and all that good stuff. And what I have found is I feel like majority of these videos are fades, showing us how to do that tight clipper work on the side, which is great. However, I wanted to do something that wasn't using the clippers and not doing those really, really tight, short um, lengths on the side. So I chose to do a haircut that has a little bit more length and is going to be focusing more on using the shears and the feather razor. So I'm going to post a picture here real quick to show you uh, the haircut that we are going to be doing on Sam today. So that is the look that we are going for. So to start off the haircut, as you can see, I have already divided the top half from the bottom half of his head. So to do that, I have created a horseshoe shape parting. So this is how I start off every haircut. I always separate the top half from the bottom half of the head. That way you're going to have a nice clean foundation to start your work. So, I am right handed, so I always start my haircuts on the right side of the head. So you'll have to bear with me, I am at home by myself, which is me, Sam, and my tablet. I don't have a cameraman here, so I'm gonna be trying to do all this by myself, and I will try to position this so that you can see what I'm doing. So, I'm going to comb this a little bit just to get that clean parting in there. Okay, so when I come in on the sides, I'm going to be working in vertical sections here. And it'll probably be about the width of my comb. So if you think about it, as I start cutting, this will be the first section second section, third section, and so on. So we're going to be working in vertical sections. So I'm going to come in with my first section here. I'm gonna comb everything else out of the way. Okay, so I'm gonna take my first section here and I'm gonna pull that section straight out. So when I mean pulling it straight out, we're pulling it straight out from the head. You can see my fingers aren't tilted like this, but they're not raised like that. We're keeping it perfectly straight out from the head shape. By doing this, we're gonna create a nice square masculine shape on the sides. So I'm gonna pull that section straight out. Starting at the top of my section, I'm gonna cut down. So we got the first section done. So now this is gonna be a traveling guide where we can continue to work around the head. So I'm gonna take my next section. And then take a parting from my previously cut guide. And then we're gonna pull that next section straight out. Find our guide and cut top to bottom. So now we have our first two sections done. So we're just gonna keep on going around the head doing that. So I'm gonna pull this third section straight out. Find my guide and cut. 
There is a really good tip to use to make sure that you are pulling that hair straight out. And that is, as you're pulling that hair straight out, imagine if there was a marble sitting right here on top of that hair strand. So if you had a marble sitting right there, is it gonna balance? If your fingers are more like this, that marble is gonna fall off. So that is one way to check to make sure that you are keeping that hair pulled straight out from the head. You want it to come out just like this. So we're going on to our forward section. Pulling that hair straight out, finding our guide, cutting top to bottom. Pulling that hair straight out, looking for our guide, cutting top to bottom. So I typically, when I'm working with a client, I once I get to the ear, I stop. I consider from the front to the ear my design panel. So this is where you stop and ask the client if they like this length. So you go ahead and ask them how that length is working for them. As you can see, it is nice and square. Still has a little bit of movement to it. So this is where I ask them if they like this length. If they don't, then all I have to do is redo this section right here. If I do the entire bottom half of the head and then they decide that they wanna go shorter, well now I have to completely start over. And we do not have time for that when we are booked every 30 minutes in the salon. So my suggestion, do your design panel, front of the face to the back of the ear, cut, and ask them how they're liking it. If they like it, then continue on. So I am just gonna continue on doing this exact same thing around the entire head shape. the bottom half of this haircut we're gonna move into the transition so to do that I'm gonna make a T shape parting so I'm gonna go from the center make a parting and then I'm gonna go from about 
the back of the ear and make a parting going this way. This is gonna separate the crown. I'm gonna bring that over to the other side. Okay, so you can see here we have a T. Let me try to comb that out a little better. you have the parting down the middle and then the parting going across so that's going to create a T. So I'm going to come back to the right side since I'm right handed and now we're going to be working in horizontal sections. So I'm going to take first section and that's going to be come up a little bit higher right above our previously cut section. So I'm gonna take a horizontal section on the side. We're just gonna keep working up to that middle parting. So I'm gonna take my first section, and once again, I'm gonna pull the hair straight out from the head. So remember the whole marble thing. So I'm gonna pull that hair straight out. And then I'm gonna look for my guide underneath, and I'm gonna connect that. So I find my guide underneath, I cut, pull that hair straight out, but this time I'm going to tilt my fingers a little bit as to leave a little bit of exaggerated length towards the front. So I pull straight out and then tilt. And then this guide is also going to be a traveling guide. We don't want to continue to pull all of our sections down to that same guide. Make sure that guide is traveling so that we are always coming straight off the head. So I'm going to try to show you that angle with my fingers. Hopefully you can see here. So I'm pulling that hair straight out. I'm finding my guide underneath. Cutting. Working towards the front. Pulling that hair straight out, but then we're going to tilt our fingers away from their head a little bit to leave that exaggerated length and find our guide. We're just going to do that continuing up the hair. you'll be able to see it but you can kind of see that line there see that angle down that heaviness from that section that we just cut cut so I'm gonna go ahead and do this on the other side the exact same thing pulling that hair straight out from the head and then angling our fingers away from their face as we get towards the front
So now we're moving on to the back and we're gonna continue to pull that hair straight up from the head and do horizontal. So I'm gonna divide this into three sections. And by doing that, I'm gonna do triangles. So I'm gonna do one triangle here. Now, so you got your triangle in the middle and then there's two on each side. So same exact thing. You're gonna start at the bottom and do your horizontal sections all the way up the hair. Only this time we're not angling your fingers any which way, we're just pulling that hair straight out. So now it's time to connect the top. So remember that T-shaped parting? We're gonna come back to that parting back here. And we're gonna come right in front of that parting. And we're gonna pull this hair straight up. And for this haircut, we're trying to keep quite a bit of length. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the corner off. And this is also going to be a traveling guide. We're going to work towards the front. So I'm going to take my next section. Search for the guide from my previous right here. So side to side sectionings. Pulling that hair straight up. Looking for my guide. We're really just taking off the corner from these two um, sides. So I'm gonna do one more traveling guide. So you can see my guide there. And from this point on, because I wanna leave some exaggerated length in the front, I'm gonna pull everything back to this last section I just cut. So there's that. So now we are pretty much done with the haircut, aside with detailing and finishing, but I'm gonna come in with my razor and do a little bit of texturizing on top because I want him to get lots of volume and lift. I'm gonna come in and I'll leave the very front out. But I'm gonna do side to side sectioning again and come about an inch out from the scalp. 
just to get a little bit of um, texturizing in there. This is gonna help get some support in the hair. So as we know, I'm sure you've heard before that short pushes long. So we're just adding a little bit of short layers in here to help elevate and support the longer legs. So as you can see, it's already standing nicely. That's helping quite a bit. And I'm gonna come right in the front hairline. But I'm not gonna go quite as close to the scalp. I'm gonna come a little bit further out. detailing on the side here because I feel like it's pretty heavy. So I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to come a little bit further out from the scalp. Right. So now all that's left is detailing and finishing the hairline. So at this point, it's up to you how short, if you want to do a really tight taper around the edges, that's when you would come in with your clipper over comb and really taper this down up over the ear. If he's wanting a more relaxed, longer look, um, you could just come in with your sheer over comb and just touch up the hairline a little bit. For his look, I'm I'm actually not going to come in with the clippers. I'm just going to use my shears and just tighten this up a little bit because I, I want to leave a more natural look. So I'm going to come in. And just tighten that up. Just a little bit. drying. So I'm going to come in with the medium hold spray gel. And his hair is pretty much almost dry at this point. So I'm just going to re-wet it a little bit. I'm going to come and groom his sides down. comb that product through the hair and then I'm going to come in with my blow dryer.
And to top it off, I'm coming in with my favorite product of all, the fiber, the fiber cream. Okay, horrible lighting. There you go. Okay, this is my favorite product. If you have not tried it, try it. So I'm gonna come in, emulsify it, and then work it through. down the sides and squeeze it to get a little bit of texture in there. You can hear my kids in the background. It's a madhouse in here. And that is it. I do this haircut on a ton of my clients and even though I'm doing the same haircut, I might be switching up a little bit, you know, depending on the length on the sides, the length on the top. Honestly, pretty much these steps right here, you can put into a lot of haircuts and get a different result, but um, it's gonna leave you a nice shape. So see, it's nice and groomed, but it's not, a, it's not clipper cut, you know, he still has a little bit of movement there. So, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video and I will do my best to get back to an answer. Otherwise, if you want to follow me on Instagram and get a hold of me there with any questions, you can do that too. Thank you for watching.